Happy Advent, everyone. How are you today? This is uh, Pastor Kevin from Awakus Now. Just want to give uh, an Advent thought for you uh, as you uh, prepare for Christmas, uh, as you prepare for his second coming. Uh, I'd like to focus on this description of Jesus prophesied in Isaiah 9, where it says, He will be our wonderful counselor. Here's how the scripture goes. Um, the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. You will enlarge the nation of Israel, and as people will rejoice, they will, re they will rejoice before you. As people rejoice at the harvest, and like warriors dividing the plunder, for you will break the yoke of their slavery and lift the heavy burden from their shoulders. You will break the oppressor's rod, just as you did when you destroyed the army of Midian. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David. For all eternity, the passionate commitment of the Lord of Heaven's armies will make this happen. Wonderful Counselor. Do you need a wonderful counselor right now? <laughs> I've had wonderful counselors in my past, times where I had big decisions to make, times of crisis, times of crossroads. Uh, I've had counselors who've given me wise, um, wise direction and counsel. But can you imagine Jesus being your wise and wonderful counselor? Jesus himself, that's one of the reasons why he's come, to give us counsel for the things of life that are important, like financial things, relationship things, uh, career and job things, um, life direction, values, things like that, and even weightier things like eternity. <laughs> Where is my life going? Am I right with God? This is a time to recommit and say, God, I am all in. This is a t not a time for him to fit into our lives uh, in some kind of fractional way, but this is a time for us to say, Lord, I am yours. I am completely yours. I'm all in. I trust you. Now give me direction. There's this great passage in Isaiah 30. It says, uh, your own ears will hear him. Right behind you, a voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether to the right or to the left. Jesus says, uh, uh, after I leave, I will uh, I'll leave behind the Holy Spirit and he will give you direction. What do you need right now in terms of counsel? You know, it's not just wise counsel, it's wonderful counsel, it's good news. <laughs> Jesus is not a harsh counselor or a, a self-serving counselor uh, uh, or a vindictive counselor. He is a wise and wonderful counselor. He brings good news. He is the good news. Take some time. Talk to your wonderful counselor and see if he will not give you direction. Lord Jesus, we come before you today. We ask, Lord, that you just, you give us the counsel that we need. There's a lot of foolishness and nonsense around us today, and we need your wise counsel. Give us the direction that we need in our lives. Show us, Lord, how you are the way, the truth, and the life, and may we follow you closer and more intimately as you draw us to yourself. In Jesus' name, have a great Advent. Talk to you soon.